Hi everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I want to share with you some of my favorite panicle hydrangeas. And it's just so hard to choose a favorite hydrangea, isn't it? I wish I could surround myself with hydrangeas every day, all day long. And I kind of attempt to do that here in my garden. But when it comes to the late August, early September garden, it's really the panicle hydrangeas time to shine. And so I really just wanted to focus in on some of my favorites. All panicle hydrangeas are really easy to grow. Most of them are hardy in zones three through eight. Limelight, which is one of the most popular hydrangeas of all time, is even hardy in zone nine. And they all have kind of unique characteristics that might make them a good choice for your garden. So without further ado, let's just get right into the list. Now, how could I make a panicle hydrangea list and not put limelight front and center on the list? This hydrangea is really the queen of panicle hydrangeas. More limelight hydrangeas are sold than any other panicle hydrangea each year. And it's so easy to see why. And the really amazing thing I think is that limelight hydrangeas in my personal experience reach their mature height very quickly. I've had this limelight in here for five years. I'm five foot five inches tall. And you can see this limelight is easily seven feet tall at this point. I have some that are 11 years old and they're pretty much the same size. So if you're looking for a fast growing shrub with beautiful blooms, the blooms start out this wonderful lime color. Then in the fall, they age to almost a pink into a burgundy, almost a mauve color. Lots of great colors going on in the fall on limelight. Just such a winner, so easy to take care of. You prune it really, really early in the spring because it blooms on new wood, just like all panicle hydrangeas. So definitely a win when it comes to panicle hydrangeas. The limelight is queen for a reason. Now I didn't think they could make limelight any better, but in fact they did when they created limelight prime. I planted one of these last summer and I quickly went down to my girlfriend's nursery and bought three more, but I'm going to pick one of these bloom heads so you can see it. Look at the absolutely amazing lime green color on there and you can see that it's already started to transition into this gorgeous red. And that's the main difference that I see between my limelights and these limelight primes. The lime color itself stays for much longer. It goes red quicker and just overall it seems like a more sturdy plant. It's a little bit more compact. Also the leaves are a little bit greener. The stems are a little bit stronger. So overall, whether you go with Limelight or Limelight Prime, I'm sure you'll be happy at the end of the day. Next on my list is Little Quick Fire, which has the same early bloom time as the original Quick Fire, but on about a third of a size shrub. So three to five feet tall and wide on Little Quick Fire. And I just absolutely love its lace cap flowers. They quickly age to a deep red before other varieties even show flower buds. This compact habit gives it a wonderful container presentation and makes it a great choice for patio plants. Now, if you love red flowers and you love panicle hydrangeas, then I would definitely recommend Firelight Hydrangea. I love this hydrangea so much because it blooms a lot earlier than my Limelight, my Bobo, my Limelight Prime. The blooms start out white, then quickly age to almost a limey pink. And then in my garden, they turn a vibrant red late summer into the fall. So this is really a panicle hydrangea that screams fall and just attracts a lot of attention to the garden because of how early it blooms and just that wonderful vibrant red color. Next on my list is the Firelight Tidbit. And this is a great panicle hydrangea for a small garden, a container planting, or maybe you just have a space that's about three by three feet where you want to stick a panicle hydrangea. This one will do the trick because it gets about two to three feet tall and three feet wide. It reminds me a lot of Bobo Hydrangea, but it has a lower, more mounded habit and a lot more color. The mid-season blooms emerge a bright lime green, transition to white, and then quickly take on hues of dragon fruit pink. Also, it has orange red autumn foliage, so that's such a nice bonus. A panicle hydrangea with orange red foliage, count me in. 
Now next on my list is the Pinky Winky Hydrangea. And if you love cut flowers as much as I do, then you definitely wanna consider adding a Pinky Winky Hydrangea to your garden. Its bloom stalks are beautiful, lace cap blooms. They start out white, but they quickly age to pink, starting at the bottom, and then that pink gradually works its way to the top. So it works absolutely great as a specimen planting, as a hedge, and also the stems are incredibly strong. You really just can't go around with Pinky Winky when it comes to cut flower production. Well, those are some of my favorite panicle hydrangeas, but I'd really love to hear about what your favorites are. What panicle hydrangeas do you like to use for hedging, for specimen plants, for use in a container? Which ones do you like to cut, use fresh, use dried? I'm just kind of crazy about hydrangeas and I love learning about what other varieties are out there and bringing all of us gardeners so much joy. Well, until next time, friends, happy gardening. Bye.